welcome to the Holistic Soul Sisters Radio, a channel created to help you heal holistically and grow spiritually. I'm your host, Mandy Rose. I'm not afraid to talk about taboo subjects, so nothing is off limits here. Make sure you hit subscribe and get ready to learn more from me and other experts on all things health, spirituality, astrology, lifestyle, relationships, and so much more. I hope you enjoy today's episode. Let's begin. Welcome back, Holistic Soul Sisters. It's me, Mandy Rose, and this is the final podcast episode of 2021, which is just so crazy to believe. How are you guys feeling towards the end of this year? How's your year been? This podcast episode is going to be a lot different than any of the other ones I record. Usually, as a Virgo and a type A person, I have a sheet of notes I have it pre-planned, then I edit it down, make it as concise and clear and practical as possible. But today's episode, I wanted to do something different. So I'm actually recording this on my drive to work, um, to my salon in Clearwater, and I drive about an hour, hour and a half. So I thought, you know what? Let me take this opportunity to just have a chat with you guys, just to catch up and share with you what's going on in my life. and also give you guys some practical tips as far as the new year. I feel like through my astrology readings, the birth chart readings I've been doing for 2022, catching up with girlfriends, um, I've been hosting some local events in Tampa and meeting some amazing women in our community. And through all those conversations, I feel like the underlying theme is that everyone has this energy around really wanting to make 2022 not necessarily their year, because we say that every year, right? Like this year is going to be my year, but they want it to be a year of personal growth, of development, of change, of realigning their life in the direction of what sets their heart on fire. I think, you know, in 2020, we had this sudden wake up and realization of our life and are we doing what we want to do? Are we spending time with the people we want to spend time with? You know, this total life evaluation. And that led some of us to either break up and get out of relationships, enter new relationships, change jobs, uh, start a new business, have kids. I mean, our life took a total change after 2020. So we woke up in 2020. And then in 2021, this past year, we had to come to terms with the wake up call. You know, if you decided, oh my gosh, my career isn't what I want it to be, you had to process that this past year. You had to figure out what you want to do about it. So I think that this last year has really just been gaining information, gaining knowledge, coming to terms with the realization of our lives, and then deciding what to do about it. And I feel like 2022 is going to be the year that we do something about it. It's an action oriented year. We can even see that in astrology. There's a lot of action that's going to happen, a lot of forward movement, a lot of shifts. The eclipses have changed into Taurus and Scorpio, and that means that we are all seeking more pleasure. We are seeking financial stability, emotional stability. We are looking for security in our lives, however that might look for you. And with those eclipses, that is pulling us in our destiny, is pulling us in our direction of what makes us live, what makes us happy. And getting away from a lot of old fears, a lot of old stuff, trauma, I mean, all these things that have been weighing us down, that's the Scorpio part of this eclipse cycle. Scorpio rules our emotions and those deep, deep, difficult to process emotions. It rules kind of the hard things in life. So we are done with that. We are over it. We have been holding on far too long to some fears. Fears that prevent us from moving forward. Fears that prevent us from taking action. Fears that prevent us from taking risks, whether that's love or your career or a passion project or moving. We're over it. We're ready to take the risk. And so I am so excited for this upcoming year to see where it takes you, where it leads you. In our birth chart readings, um, I look at what house the eclipse falls for you. So where and what area of your life are you going to have changes coming up? What areas of your life are you releasing and letting go of? So that's the eclipse cycle. And then in the astrology, we have the planet Jupiter, blessings, expansion, luck, opportunity, abundance, meeting up in the sky with one of his good friends, Neptune. And when Neptune and Jupiter get together, it's like going to the best party of your life and taking acid. Like Neptune is all about illusions and dreams and fantasy land. 
putting on the rose colored glasses, not dealing with reality and the harshness of it. It's just pure out good times. So when these two planets get together in 2022, it's gonna be dreamy, it's gonna be fun. We are going to want to enjoy life again for a moment, even just for a moment. And that's happening in March. So I'm gonna be talking so much more about all the specific astrological events that are coming up in the 2022 Astrological Forecast event. It's happening on January 4th at 8 p.m. on Zoom, Eastern Standard Time. If you have purchased a copy of the 2022 Retrograde Astrology Journal, you have gotten a free ticket. So if you purchase your journal before the end of the year, you will get a free ticket to that astrological event. If you don't want to purchase a journal, but you're still curious about the astrological event, you are more than welcome to come, learn, participate, take notes. The ticket is $11.11, 11 cents, $11.11. If you head over to the Holistic Soul Sister Instagram page, holistic.soul.sisters Instagram page, go to that link tree link in my bio, you will find the link to purchase your tickets. And like I said, we're going to talk so much more about the astrology of the upcoming year. So you are going to know what times of year should you go on vacation, what times should you pay attention to your romantic life, and what times of year maybe you need to take a retreat or a rest or a pause. We're going to talk about the retrogrades and what lessons they're trying to teach us this year. So a lot of really good things. So I'm so excited for 2022. How have you guys handled 2021? I would love to hear from you. Slide into my DMs, send me an email, reach out if you have my phone number, and let me know how was your year and what is your goal for 2021 or 2022? What do you guys want to accomplish? What do you want to make happen? Like, what is your dream? Start dreaming. Get get dreaming and get big dreaming because everything is possible right now in this age of Aquarius. You know, someone who thought of cryptocurrency probably thought, oh, people will never do that. And now look at it. Even astrology, five, 10 years ago, people weren't that interested and look at it now. So whatever your dream is, whatever your creative endeavor is, there is a space for it. People are expanding their mind, expanding their consciousness, opening up to new possibilities. People crave new and different. So if you are thinking outside the box, you wanna bring something to this planet that doesn't already exist, do it, do it now because people are open and receptive to it. As far as me personally, when I reflect back on this year, it has been a freaking whirlwind. Like, I cannot believe so much has happened in 365 days. Last January, I officially moved out of Pinellas County in Florida. I have lived near Clearwater for 10 years, um, and it was a big decision, a big move. All my girlfriends are there, my doctors are there, my social circle, like the things that I love to do are there. And I had to make a decision for love and for forward movement. I knew a huge chapter of my life has closed. And although Pinellas County will always be there, and that's why I set my salon up, so I come back once a week, it's just a part of me that was, you know, in existence before I got sick, before I went through a divorce, before I learned so many life lessons and leveled up. So in January, I moved to a different county, moved with my boyfriend, into a new adventure of life. We were in process of building a home that should have been done in 2020, and it wasn't. And so we were kind of homeless. We were living out of Airbnbs, VRBOs, um, temporarily. So we'd move from one for a couple months, find out our house wasn't gonna be completed, then scramble last minute during spring break to find another Airbnb, then move live in that Airbnb for a couple months, find out our house was gonna get delayed again, had to move to another Airbnb for a month. And we did that from January all the way until July. We lived in a total of seven different apartments slash Airbnbs, condos, while we awaited the process of our house. And that was stressful. I mean, luckily my boyfriend is very adventurous and I have learned to become very go with the flow. Um, but to live out of your suitcase and have everything that you've ever purchased that mattered to you in a storage unit waiting for you was just totally nerve wracking. And then, you know, building a house during COVID sounds fun and glamorous, but it wasn't. There was so many construction delays, hiccups, contract breachments, um, just things that we had to navigate all while living out of our suitcase and praying the completion of our house. So that's what the first half of my year looked like as far as my personal life. 
But on top of that, I opened a salon. I left my corporate job of seven years, opened my own salon, took a huge risk, a financial risk. So glad I did. It paid off immensely. I absolutely love being there and the clients that have attracted towards me are incredible. So that was amazing. And then I branched out and expanded Holistic Soul Sisters. This is a brand that came to me in the deepest, darkest nights of my life. When I was going through my divorce, when I was still healing from mold, when I was just oh, struggling with life and what I was going to do next. And Holistic Soul Sisters popped into my head. And I knew I've always had this passion to help women heal their physical bodies. And then the emotional piece comes in, right? You can't heal physically if we're not emotionally in the right headspace. So that was the physical and mental part. But then the spiritual part. I love talking about crystals and astrology and soul growth and, you know, God and religion and crystals. I just everything, everything to do with the esoteric spiritual world. So Holistic Soul Sisters was born, a brand to help women heal holistically and grow spiritually. And so I created the podcast from Wheatgrass and Champagne. I decided to let that name go. It no longer is a part of my life and make the Holistic Soul Sister radio channel. I've put out podcasts. Thank you so much for listening this past year, doing the mini series, Heartbreak to Heal. I hope that benefited you you know, sharing stories of heartbreak and how people use their heartbreak to fuel them into the next chapter of their lives. It was such an incredible mini series. And then starting the energetic healing mini series. We've already done four or five episodes in that mini series and there's more to come in the new year. I have a medium who's going to come on and talk about energetic healing and how to find a medium and what to expect when you do a reading, reading with a medium. And then I'm going to have a Chinese medicine doctor come on and talk about the meridian points in our body, the energy channels, and how we heal our body using energy medicine and muscle testing and, you know, some other fun things like masculine and feminine energy. So a lot of good things coming up in the new year for this Holistic Soul Sister radio channel. Then I did the YouTube channel, Holistic Soul Sisters TV, where I have been doing all the astrological event videos, talking about new moons and full moons and diving in deep for each one. The retrogrades, what lessons we're supposed to be learning and what we're supposed to be doing and not doing during a retrograde. And the sun seasons, when the sun is different zodiac signs. What's the energy we're going to be feeling? What energy should we be aware of? And how can we maximize our potential with some bucket list items? That stemmed from the 2022 Retrograde Astrology Journal. In that journal, I can't write everything down. So that's where the YouTube channel comes in. So if you have your 2022 Retrograde Astrology Journal, make sure you subscribe to Holistic Soul Sisters TV on YouTube and look for those astrological event videos coming up in the new year. I'm going to be expanding the YouTube channel to include holistic health videos. I'm going to talk more about my mold toxicity and how I healed. We're going to talk about medicine and functional medicine and versus conventional medicine. What kind of testing there is. You know, we know about CAT scans and MRIs and blood panels and all those things, but what about thermography? What about live blood live blood cell analysis. What about muscle testing and the different types of, you know, bio resonance energetic scanning? Things that most people don't know are out there that are amazing clinical tools that we can use to test our bodies to get to the root cause of our health issues. I can't wait to bring you guys all that content. So that's what's going on with Holistic Soul Sisters. Make sure you are subscribed to our Instagram channel. Follow us. I have been doing Favorite five Friday. Every Friday, I come to you with my top five favorite products that help me heal holistically or grow spiritually. And that's because I used to do these unboxing videos. People wanted to know, what was I putting on my face? What am I using to clean my house? Um, what do I eat to live a holistic, healthy lifestyle? So that's where that started. And now I just do favorite five Friday. So that is all saved over on the Instagram page. If you want to scroll back, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do theme weeks. So this past week, we just did a theme week where we talked about the holistic soul sister shop, um, which I'm so excited to launch into the world, the holistic soul sister shop. It's products that are going to help you heal holistically, grow spiritually. A lot of people don't live near a crystal store or they walk into those holistic um, you know, nutrition stores or crystal stores and, and they don't know what to buy. So the Holistic Soul Sister Shop is just another way for me to bring you products from my heart to yours and to give you guidance on what you can use to help heal yourself.
So anyways, this last Favorite Five Friday featured the Holistic Soul Sister shop. And then I'm going to do one like Holistic Health Hall with like food halls. And then other weeks, it's just going to be totally random stuff that I've just been loving in my life. So that's going on on the Instagram channel. Also, we're doing What's in the Stars Saturday. So on Saturdays, I give you an astrological overview of the week ahead. And that's not necessarily new moons or full moons or retrogrades, but you know, different planets, when they're in different places in the sky, they help maximize our potential, potentize the energy in different ways. So we kind of talk about that and giving you a general overview. Those What's in the Stars Saturdays are also going to help you have a better understanding of astrology. I break it down in really, really simple terms. So that is on the Instagram page. On top of that, you know, the Taboo Topic Tuesday is when our podcast comes out. So, you know, our podcast is all about taking taboo topics and making them okay to talk about. And then Wednesdays is Wellness Wednesday. So definitely follow the Instagram. If you're not an Instagram person, hop on over to Facebook and our private Facebook community. Our private Facebook community is where we can get a lot more intimate. You're going to get updates on all the things I just talked about, but we also do on Sundays, Soul Growth Sundays at 11, 11 a.m. So if you can't make it at 11, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can watch the replay at 11, 11 in your own time zone or just catch the replay whenever works for you. And on Soul Growth Sunday, I talk about a topic that is like an aha, of an epiphany, a, a topic that is going to help you on your personal development journey, something you can learn, something you can implement, something you can take into your life and then turn around and share with, start a conversation with, engage with other people on that topic to help spread it out into the world like a little ripple. So make sure you check out Soul Growth Sunday. And then coming up in the new year, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. I've been thinking of ways that I can help serve you more, help you grow more. That is simple. It's easy. It's practical. And I want to do twice a month, one hour open coaching calls. So I know this is a little confusing. So essentially people text me all the time. What should I use for this? I have this health thing going on. What kind of crystal should I buy? What about this? And I can't get back to all of you. I'm so busy. You can tell just from that alone, there is so much going on in my life. And so in the new year for Holistic Soul Sisters, two times a month in our private Facebook community, I am going to be available for an entire hour. I'm going to sit live in the discussion room and just wait. Wait for you to come, wait for you to show up, wait for you to ask your questions. So if you have a question for me or you want to take some time with me and you want to, you know, pick my brain about something, it'll be like a pick your brain session. Just hop on and ask your question and I'll answer it. And I can't wait because then I get to engage with you guys more on a, you know, personal level. So just stay tuned for those announcements. It'll be twice a month. I'll do one um, hour during the day and one hour in the evening. So it's, you know, fair for everyone who's got busy schedules. And I hope that helps you guys. And then in the new year, I'm going to be launching a mentorship program. So Holistic Soul Sister Mentorship. I've been debating on going back to health coaching. I love health coaching. But I feel like, like I said in the beginning of this episode, the health coaching isn't just about our physical health. Yes, I can run your macros. Yes, I can give you a workout plan. Yes, I can tell you what to eat and not to eat, but that's not enough. We gotta talk about your emotional health. How are you dealing with certain things in your life, relationships, jobs, uh, your household, like your old past traumas, families, responsibilities. We've gotta talk about the spiritual component. Are you meditating? Are you connected to something? Are you taking time to guide your intuition so you can follow your own advice? So the mentorship program is going to involve a six month program where we work together on a one-on-one -on -one basis dealing with whatever you have going on in life. It doesn't matter. If you want to focus on your health and your business, we can work on that. But if you want to focus on your health and your relationship, we can work on that. So we can dive into whatever you want and we will break it up with goals, exercises, homework, and just help you up level. I will help mentor you into an incredible holistic soul sister where you see the transformation in your life and you can attract things into your life that are amazing and abundant and really make a change in the new year. We all want change, but taking that first step is difficult. And sometimes we take a couple steps and we get off track and we got to start over and we got to try again. But this is where mentorship comes in. Someone who's been through the fire, I work with a lot of people that are just starting their healing journey. 
it's overwhelming. They don't know where to start. Do I buy essential oils? Do I buy these supplements? What doctor do I go to? Is this worth my money? Am I wasting my money if I do this? Like what's going to make the most difference? So, you know, I do these power hour health consult calls, but this mentorship is going to take that to another level. So I can't wait. I'm so excited. Again, stay tuned for that in the new year. I have nothing officially set for a date and the program, but I just want you to know that that's coming. So if you've wanted to work with me, if you feel like I can guide you, your heart is calling you to do a one-on-one -on -one mentorship with me, it's coming. I got you. Just be patient. So, wow. Okay. So we just dived into a lot with Holistic Soul Sisters. So I created that brand in 2021 on top of building this house, moving, living out of my suitcase, and then building this brand while opening my salon and keeping that going. Ooh, it's been quite a year. On top of that, I've been doing a lot of personal healing. On top of all of that, I've been doing a lot of healing. Physically, my physical body is still dealing with mold toxicity. When you go into these apartments, condos, you know, rentals, you don't know what condition it's in. And I got kind of mold toxicity, mold poisoning twice from two different Airbnbs that we were living in. It was terrible. I was doing okay in my health and then I went crashing downhill. And luckily we were only in those places for a month. So I just had to power through. So that was difficult, that was challenging. And then on top of that, healing a lot of emotional wounds, a lot of abandonment wounds from my divorce, from family stuff. I've had to let go of some toxic people in my life and mourning the loss of that. It's been quite the year of healing on a physical way and definitely an emotional way. And then on top of all of that, we traveled. We left the country for six weeks, went to Europe, saw my family, met my boyfriend's family, traveled to Greece, an amazing experience. Um, and, and the traveling is amazing. It's incredible, but it definitely throws a wrench in your business. It puts things on pause, throws a wrench in your health. We had just moved into our house. So when we got back from our trip, our house was in shambles. There was stuff everywhere. We still haven't officially ordered a couch and a lot of furniture. So it's been an expansion year for sure, putting things together piece by piece, putting our home together piece by piece, building this brand piece by piece, you know, building my relationship piece by piece, learning to not be afraid of someone leaving me and not being fearful of the what ifs and learning to communicate and learning to be patient and tapping more into my feminine instead of being so masculine all the time. Wow, it's been a year of growth and change. I just. I can't believe it. You know, they say in one year so much can happen and, and it really did for me this year. So next year is going to be a year more of slow pace, of growth. I'm really going to dive into the Taurus themes of life since the eclipses are happening in Taurus. Sensuality, pleasure, the sensory experience of life, Mother Nature and Earth, Taurus rules over Mother Nature. Um, and home, you know, stability and security. And I really want my days to be filled with joy and beauty. Spending time with my partner throughout my work day. I want to smell nice things, taste nice things, touch nice things, leave space in my schedule for sensuality and play and just enjoyment of life. So that is my goal for this new year. Not always being go, go, go and build, build, build and make things happen, but allowing the feminine flow of life. Taurus is ruled by Venus, the planet of love, the planet of femininity, of beauty, of harmony, of attraction. So that's what I'm going to embody for this next year. I haven't decided on my word of the year. Every year for the last five years, I've picked a word of the year and it's really been my mantra for the year. It's guided me. It's incredible how I pick it at the beginning of the year and by the end of the year, it's like, oh my God, that was a year of blank word. So this past year, past year my word was fire. And like I just explained and all those things, oh my gosh, I have gotten my fire back. The year before was trust. That was the year I went through my divorce and my health crisis. I had to trust. I had to trust other doctors. I had to trust to love again my new boyfriend and my new relationship. I had to learn to trust myself and my decisions I make and trust that others have, you know, the best intentions for me or that others are doing the best that they can do. So a year of trust, you know, last year and this year was fire and I don't know what my word is for the new year. If you already know what your word of 2022 is, please share it with me over on Instagram or send me a text message. It's the last journal prompt of the 2021 Retrograde Astrology Journal, your word of the year. And I advise you to pick it and pick it carefully. 
write a couple words down, see which one calls to you and make that your year, write it down and reflect back upon it and, and make it happen for yourself. So that's one of my New Year's um, resolutions, intentions, I should say. Another is to stop using frickin' plastic bags. I am so over it. Every time I go to Germany, they absolutely do not use plastic at all. If you go to a grocery store and you need to use like a plastic bag, you have to pay for it. So people bring backpacks and reusable bags. And I am so tired of my own lazy bullshit that I get to the store and I forget my disposable bag. And then I have to use plastic and I feel horrible about it and it happens over and over again and I'm done with it. Not doing it anymore. It's just pure ignorance, laziness, and I just don't want to be a part of it anymore. So I have my disposable bags obsession done. My reusable bags are in the car. And that is how I am going to navigate my new year, trying to save the environment more, trying to be more conscious with the environment. It is so important because, you know, essentially our earth is all we have. And being a holistic health coach, we know that the earth is our life force energy. The sun gives us energy. The ground brings us back into nature and calms us and heals us. So I need to take better care of her. I rely on mother nature far too much to not give back energetically to her. So loving the universe more, loving nature more and doing what I can as far as, you know, reusable plastics and, and paying attention to how I'm impacting the earth. That's a huge intention for mine in the new year. And then I have a couple others that I'll probably share in time, but you know, I really want to up level in a couple areas of my life, like my self-worth and confidence. And I know that sounds crazy to people that don't know me on a deep level, but those are things I struggle with. I want to work on my femininity um, and, you know, working on my schedule and being a little bit more routine. I need to get my health back on track, my fitness back on track. So try not to overdo it as you can tell, but, um, you know, I have high goals for my life and I love becoming the best version of myself that I can. So that's me. Um, we're about to go on a trip to Costa Rica for three weeks. I'm so excited. Um, never been. I'm not quite a risk taker, adventure taker. My boyfriend is a Sagittarius and luckily he has always gotten me out of my comfort zone, getting me to try new things and eat new things and live in different ways. So this trip is going to be filled with a lot of adventure and excitement. I will take you along for it. If you follow our couples page, lampsalot.lifestyle on Instagram, lampsalot.lifestyle. If you don't know about the lampsalot story, it's a funny story. It's our couple name. It's got a hilarious backstory of when we first met and hung out. It's over on our Instagram page. Just scroll in our feed to find the behind the story of the lampsalot name. Um, but yes, so that is our Instagram. I will be posting all the Costa Rica fun adventures. One of the hotels we're staying at is all organic, all holistic and sustainable. I always say that word wrong, sustainable. So they have their own um, solar power and they filter their own water. They have an organic farm that they use for their restaurants. They have yoga every morning with sound baths. They have wellness practitioners and their spa services aren't like regular facials and massages. They're like chakra opening and Thai massage with stretching. And you can do like a love couples session where they do Reiki on you and help with the energetic blocks of your relationship and opening up your chakras. Like super incredible. I can't wait. It's, it's going to be amazing. So what about you guys? What do you got going on for the new year? Um, I hope you have an amazing holiday season. I hope it's filled with memories and small moments. I'd love to know your traditions. I'd love to know if there's like a really cool tradition that you have that is maybe a part of your family or something you've started or something that maybe is just like super unique to you for the holiday season. And I think that's about it for this podcast. Um, I talked a lot. I rambled a lot. Um, some tips for you guys for the new year, I would definitely say, you know, when it comes to your health, everyone wants to do a health overhaul, baby steps, baby steps. Don't be the person that throws everything out on the first of the year. No sugar, no dairy, no blah, blah, blah. You're going to fall off and you're going to fall off quick. Life is about balance. It's about making sure that you do a program, do something that is sustainable long-term. So that's where I come in. That's where I help a lot of people. And movement, just get moving more. I don't care if you don't go lift weights and do yoga every week and this and this and that. 
Just physically move your body every single day. Go for a walk around the block, do some yoga. Hell, just do some stretching. Stretching is so important. How many of us stretch? Uh, not many. And flexibility is one of the most important factors in aging. If you are at the age of 70 and you can't bend over to pick something up, that's when you start needing assistance from family members. That's when people actually have to start looking at moving into an assisted living facility because they physically cannot move their bodies to, to take care of themselves anymore. So stretching is incredibly important for your flexibility and for long-term longevity in life. So get to stretching this year. Let me know your goals. Connect with me over on Instagram or Facebook. And um, I hope you have an amazing new year. Happy holidays. And thank you guys so much for being a part of the Holistic Soul Sister family. Like it means so much to me. I could be talking to the wall. You know, when I record these, it always feels a little weird because I'm just talking to myself. But I know that somewhere out there in the universe, at some point in time, space reality, someone's listening to this message right now. And that means the most to me. Connecting with new people, connecting with, you know, people I haven't heard from in years. It's just such a blessing that this Holistic Soul Sister platform has given me. So thank you for being a part of our community. Thank you for sharing it. Thank you for inviting other people you know into our tribe, showing them the Instagram, showing them the podcast, um, showing them the journal, whatever it might be. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. You are helping me live my soul's purpose. Um, as I expand and as I grow and as I go through life's challenges and teach you the lessons that I've learned so you don't have to go through them and you can take the shortcut route. So again, thank you so much. I'm wrapping up this podcast and have an amazing holiday season. I cannot wait to connect more in the new year and that's it. Until then, make sure you keep healing holistically and growing spiritually. Talk to you guys in the new year. <laughs>